What's up guys, hope you had a great weekend. We are on the road right now, on the dirt already, heading up to Stave Lake. We're having a barbecue today. I invited anyone who wants to come, the whole internet. So, should be a good day, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, it got me. All right, we're out here barbecuing. I can't get this barbecue to get hot. Third time's the charm. Maybe these burgers are just kind of uh, not cooking themselves. But uh, we're out here. Got lots of trucks out here so far. Just hanging out on the flats making burgers. You like a jukebox, baby. What's up, buddy? Not much. Thought I recognized that Land Cruiser. Yeah. Good to see you. You too. Who's this? Hi, this is Hunter. Hunter, say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. Pretty fun barbecue today. We just got down to the trail. I had Jeff from Expedition Essentials and his rig along with you. We're gonna head down, find a good place to camp tonight. Jeff's getting there down. We're gonna have to take a look at this rig later. Maybe in the morning when it's light out, because it's awesome. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We got Ada in the Bronco today. So we got the Bronco and the Trail Destroyer. Let's go have some fun. It's gonna get dark quick, so we might be doing some night wheeling here, which I'm okay with. It's just been wet, wet, wet all day. It's been the story of the day. All day at the lake for the barbecue. And uh, we were hoping we'd escape the rain, but it's pretty soaked in here as well. So I think it's gonna be a wet trip. We'll see what kind of footage we can get. traffic as we're starting to come in here but it seems to have uh, passed now hopefully there's not too many people on this trail because it's not fun to run into other ways on a skinny trail
How's it coming down? Pretty awesome. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Easy, right? Ah. That's like a beginner trail. Yeah, it was a little bit scary at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Bronco handled it good. Yeah, because it have Ali, right? So yeah. more scary. <laughs> oh, she's totally fine. She had fun. Yeah, she had fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie, did you have fun? I'm not. My light will fall down. Your light fell down? Well, yeah. I'll get it for you, no problem. I have the light you still got your green light, eh? I have a red. All right, we made it. Ada did her first real trail with the Bronco. Bronco did great. Ada did great driving. And we're down here on the beach. We're gonna set up camp. We've got a shelter here where we're gonna have a fire. It's gonna be good. Not a bad little light trail on the way down here? No, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. This spot's great it's too. It's dark. Nighttime wheeling's pretty damn fun. I love night wheeling. Yeah. Especially now I got all these lights on here. Yeah, it's, so it's nice. pretty cool. I like your rock lights, man. Things are freaking awesome. Yeah. Yay, we made it! Yeah! You happy? Yeah, I got my little. Yeah, we got a fire going. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. We're camping. High five. High five. I got my chair. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, you happy? Yeah. I told you we were gonna have fun. Yeah. Alright, I brought some string lights out. We got them running off the Anchor 767 powerhouse. This will, let's see here. These lights are only about two watts. We'll run for 81 hours off this beast. And then uh, later Ada's gonna use this in her tent to run her heated blanket. And that should run for quite a long time. This, will, this is a big beast. This is uh, over 1200 watt hours. So link in the description if you're interested in checking this out. This is a really cool unit. Morning. Morning. All right, we're gonna take a look at Jeff's Ram 2500 heavy duty. Yeah, so it's a 2018 Ram 2500 that I've had since 2019. And uh, you know, uh, after we outgrew the Tacoma, we decided to build it because it's more room and it's a capable platform. And, lots of aftermarket available and uh, yeah so it's the new it's our new build for the shop and for our family and for our overland trips and uh, we're just getting started really on it but it's grown up it's grown up it's getting bigger we got to start obviously with the the camper you got on here what camper is this it's an AT Overland Atlas which is a straight pop top as you can see and they make a really nice product they're out of Arizona and uh, it's really nice aluminum build with insulated walls and plenty of room, which is, which is awesome. So the first thing you'll probably notice about this, if you are familiar with these, is the extremely custom rear door, which is my favorite part of this truck. Uh, after having the Allo cab, I decided that the rear door is the way to go. So I built this custom rear door to make things easier and more functional for the camper. And it really made it way better functionally. It's just, you know, the rear door, you can hang a ta tailgate table and gear and you have a place to put your propane bottle, high lift jack, and just makes the space just much more user friendly. Our original Exo table light, we've um, discontinued this one, but we have the full 
We have a full XL table version, but this is this was the light version, which has a slide out that you can set your stove on and a cutting board. Uh, we're going to redesign the light version. We still have the full XL table, but I put this one on here temporarily until I can get a full XL table mounted on the door, which is cool because it has a stove that slides out and cutting board, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so you can see here, there's just like a ton of space up here. This is actually a lot longer than long. than I expected it to be. So this is um, this is open space here. You can actually sleep on this with this open. You can, yeah. It doesn't. You leave it open. Of course, this is a full size truck, so it has a lot more yeah. a lot more bed space than uh, than my rig does. But it's a cool setup. I like it a lot. Awesome truck. Where can people check out more about your truck and your stuff? Um, our Instagram page, Expedition Essentials, and our website, expeditionessentials.com. Driver. that pretty good
you did a good job. Thank you. First time rock crawling. Yeah, first time. All right, let's do some more. Sure. It's not a super hard trail, but there's a few like little tricky spots here and there. The ram here does not have lockers, so needs a little more wheel speed on some stuff. But it makes things interesting. We're having fun. Who needs lockers? They're overrated. Yeah, you got light bars, right? Light bars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have solo slikes, that's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> 